Why watch Ted Lasso? Well, it will boost your English vocabulary and listening skills. Let's first watch a clip with subtitles, go through some of the key vocabulary, and then we will watch the video again without subtitles for a final time. Hey, how you doing? This is Ted Lasso. I'm the new head coach of the Tottenham Hotspurs, and uh, I'd like to talk to the queen, please. My name's Ted Lasso. I'm the new head coach for Tottenham Spurs. Been brought over here to, to, you know, implement my coaching style. Football's football, no matter where you play it. You got grass, you got cleats, and you got helmets with masks on them. Football in the States is my specialty, but they have a different kind of football over here. Kick it! Circle them up, have them put on their pads, and let's start playing for real. They're wearing their pads, coach. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of small similarities. Any team I coach, they're gonna play hard for all four quarters, okay? Oh, two halves. What's that? Two halves. Okay, halves. They're gonna play hard for two halves. And we're gonna play till there's a winner and there's or a loser. A tie. What's that? A tie. Okay, till there's a winner, a loser, or a tie. You can tie. One of the issues I've had is what tackling was. There you go, tackle! What the hell is that? That's not a tackle. It's just sliding around. Soccer tackle, sir. Oh, all right there, Gary. That's how you tackle. It's time to break it down. Hey, how you doing? This is Ted Lasso. I'm the new head coach of the Tottenham Hotspurs, and uh, I'd like to talk to the queen, please. My name's Ted Lasso. I'm the new head coach for Tottenham Spurs. A head here isn't this. It is actually the leading position or captain principle of something. So of a team, a school, for example. A coach is a person responsible for managing and training a person or a team. So therefore, a head coach is the highest ranking coach of the coaching staff. The boss, we could say. Tottenham Hotspurs is a big football team in the Premier League, which is a popular football tournament in the UK. To be honest with you, I'm not a huge football fan, but I think they are quite a good team. However, don't say that to my partner. He supports Arsenal and they are rival teams. My name's Ted Lasso. I'm new head coach for Tottenham Spurs. Been brought over here to, to you know, implement my coaching style. Brought is the past tense and past participle of the verb bring. And it means to take or go with something or someone to a place. So for example, she brought Carl home from hospital. And you know, which is often shortened to you know, in connected and real life speech. This is a very popular word used by native speakers. You know what? Let's go out for dinner. If we click on, you know, on the video, you can see it is an interjection. You'll also find other video clips when native speakers are using this expression, like Colin Farrell here. Robbing the place, you know. Been brought over here to, you know, implement my coaching style. Implement is a verb, meaning to put a decision, plan or agreement, etc., into effect to start something. Let's just practice the pronunciation of this word. Implement, implement. You can see it has three syllables. Implement, implement. Getting the correct pronunciation of words is vital when taking your English to the next level. One way to help your pronunciation is to see the words being said in real world English. Like on Fluent You, you can hear the word being said in different situations. Coming here and you can implement these into your life right now. Farmers have already started to implement solar powered cold storage capsules. Been brought over here to, to you know, implement my coaching style. Football is football no matter where you play it. No matter is shortened from it makes no matter, or it is no matter. It doesn't matter, it's unimportant. It doesn't make any difference. If we click on no matter on Fluent You, 
we can see it means in spite of or regardless. Importantly, we can see it is commonly used, like here in Friends. No matter what I do though, I'm still going to be a father. I always recommend that my students watch shows to incorporate new vocabulary and improve their conversational English. However, I get super frustrated because the subtitles are frequently wrong, which can lead to several confusions. That is why it's awesome Fluent You exists, because in Fluent You, you can watch clips from shows like this one from Ted Lasso, and they all come with interactive subtitles. You can see its definition in context and watch video examples. And my favorite part is the personalized quizzes that ensure you keep practicing what you learn. If you are serious about learning English, why not grab the opportunity to learn for free for two weeks. Football is football no matter where you play it. You got grass, you got cleats, and you got helmets with masks on them. Cleats are a small pointed part on the bottom of some shoes used for particular sports or activities. They're there to stop you from sliding. They typically have spikes. You got grass, you got cleats, and you got helmets with masks on them. Football in the States is my specialty. First of all, this word is not to be confused with especially. Speciality is a pursuit, an area of study or skill to which someone has devoted much time and effort and in which they are an expert. Football in the States is my specialty, but they have a different kind of football over here. Kick it! Circle them up, have them put on their pads and let's start playing for real. Okay, there's a lot going on in this sentence. Let's break this up and then look at it as a whole. Circle is a shape. This shape. Up is a preposition that has multiple meanings in English, but usually referring to something above us. However, when we put these words together, they have an entirely different meaning. Native speakers say, circle them up when we want to gather everyone together, usually so you can make some sort of announcement. This phrase is typically used in school or sporting situations. So in this clip, Ted wants to bring together all of his football players. Pads are a plural noun that has several meanings. Firstly, it is a sort of iPad or electrical device where you play games and browse the internet, etc. And did you know that a pad is also the name of the underpart of an animal's foot or human fingers? But in this case, we can tell the meaning because of the context. A pad is a soft cushion-like material used to protect something. Typically, we are protecting elbows, knees, and other fragile objects. For real is an expression used in situations where you aren't joking and are completely serious. So for example, I just won the lottery. For real. In this case, Ted wants his players to play a game of football seriously. Kick it! Circle them up, have them put on their pads, and let's start playing for real. They're wearing their pads, coach. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of small similarities. A team I coach, they're going to play hard for all four quarters, okay? Uh, two halves. What's that? Two halves. Okay, halves. A key difference between American football in the US and football in the UK. So American football has four quarters. Four quarters refers to 15 minutes of four making up to one whole hour. So, four quarters refers to the playing time in a sport or game. Whereas football in the UK has two 45 minute halves, making up to 90 minutes of playing time. But tell me, why is it called football in America when you mainly play it with your hands? A team I coach, they're gonna play hard, for all four quarters, okay? Uh, two halves. 
What's that? Two halves. Okay, halves. We're gonna play hard for two halves. And we're gonna play till there's a winner and there's or a loser. A tie. What's that? A tie. Okay, till there's a winner, a loser, or a tie. You can tie. We have two ties. Firstly, this. Something you wear around your neck. Now, I hated wearing a tie in school. It was so uncomfortable. Secondly, it's a situation in which two or more people finish at the same time or score the same number of points. And don't forget, if you're enjoying this video, to hit that like button. Okay, so there's a winner, a loser, or a tie. You can tie. One of the issues I've had is what tackling was. There you go, tackle! To tackle means to try to take the ball from an opponent by intercepting them. Tackle is mainly only said in sporting events. I don't know many people who go around tackling people in real life. At least, I hope not. <laughs> it does, however, have another meaning, which means to make a determined effort to try and overcome a problem. For example, if you want to tackle these phrases later, We've prepared a free PDF. Click the link in the description below. Let's rewatch the clip without subtitles. Hey, how you doing? This is Ted Lasso. I'm the new head coach of the Tottenham Hotspurs, and uh, I'd like to talk to the Queen, please. My name's Ted Lasso. I'm the new head coach for Tottenham Spurs. Been brought over here to, to, you know, implement my coaching style. Football is football, no matter where you play it. You got grass, you got cleats, and you got helmets with masks on them. Football in the States is my specialty, but they have a different kind of football over here. Kick it! Circle them up, have them put on their pads, and let's start playing for real. They're wearing their pads, coach. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of small similarities. Any team I coach, they're gonna play hard for all four quarters, okay? Uh, two halves. What's that? Two halves. Okay, halves. We're gonna play hard for two halves. And we're gonna play till there's a winner and there's or a loser. A tie. What's that? A tie. Okay, till there's a winner, a loser, or a tie. You can tie. One of the issues I've had is what tackling was. There you go, tackle! What the hell is that? That's not a tackle. It's just sliding around. Soccer tackle, sir. Yeah, all right there, Gary. That's how you tackle. Now that you are confident with this clip, I think you are ready for a new challenge. If you want to keep on learning advanced vocabulary, check out this video on advanced slang, where I'll teach you how to use the expression on fleek. I hope to see you there.